As Zack Snyder closes out his DC Snyderverse, James Gunn prepares to make his own Justice League. And what high-profile scoopers have heard? Zack Snyder recently announced that he is going to be celebrating his DC Snyderverse with a fan event next month. This fan event is going to be called Full Circle, in which he is returning to a physical SnyderCon event to show off his DC movies, Man of Steel, Batman v Superman, and ultimately his Zack Snyder's Justice League. And at the same time, this Full Circle adds a little bit a new layer between his relationship with Warner Brothers. In the past, Warner Brothers was not very kind to him and also messed with his vision. Well, with this new Warner Brothers Discovery regime, apparently they may have mended that relationship. Zack Snyder had this to say about Warner Brothers on the recent vodka stream with Dave the Film Junkie. I'll say one thing. Warner Brothers, as far as this yeah. event is concerned, have been incredible. This group now is beyond, beyond kind and caring and personal. And it's been amazing um, working with them. So I have no complaints. The event would not have happened at all, this event would not have happened at all if it wasn't for Pam and Mike. So just to say that those guys really were the ones that said, yes, we want to do it. Just And not only does it appear that he has a better relationship with Warner Brothers chief executives, Pamela Abdi and Michael DeLuca, but he even had this to say about James Gunn. You know, James um, is like, look, James is a buddy. So, I mean, James wrote Dawn of the Dead. I don't know if you're aware of that. But regardless of this new relationship with Warner Brothers, but it appears that he is still going to be heavily involved on the Netflix side of things. With his new Rebel Moon coming out, and also his Army of the Dead universe that is still active, including an animated Twilight of the Gods series, at this very moment in time, he has no interest in continuing his DC efforts. But he may have hinted that maybe in the future, that could change. And who knows? Who knows what that means? You know, in the, for the future, but I just mean that, you know, <laughs> these are people that are reasonable and and all that. But in the meantime, I am very much uh, in the Rebel Moon business. And because James Gunn is a buddy and he has a great relationship now with Pamela Abdi and Michael DeLuca, there may be an opening for him in the future to help out with a movie or two in James Gunn's universe. Or perhaps even an Elseworld story, a movie that he has always wanted to make, a true adaptation to The Dark Knight Return. James Gunn, who is a creative himself, is going to start his own DC Universe and decided not to continue the DC Snyderverse. Because James Gunn had announced that he is not going to use Henry Cavill as his Superman. And there's also probably going to be a new Batman for Brave and the Bold. And that Batman will definitely not be played by Ben Affleck. Even though we will see the last of Ben Affleck as Batman in the Flash movie, the Flash movie will act as a reset for the universe. Ben Affleck has also shot down the possibility of actually directing Brave and the Bold or any of James Gunn's DC movies. In an interview with The Hollywood Reporter, he says, I would not direct something for the Gunn DC. Absolutely not. I have nothing against James Gunn. Nice guy, sure, he's going to do a great job. I just wouldn't want to go in and direct in the way they're doing that. I'm not interested in that. And it's even possible that Gal Gadot will not return as Wonder Woman. One of the biggest clues is that this new Paradise Lost series that is coming out is going to be a prequel series or perhaps a start to the beginning of a new Wonder Woman. And the fact that even Gogodol came out in a cameo in Shazam Fury of the Gods, which, you know, is an absolute box office failure at the moment. Many people are noticing that Gal has not mentioned at all about her cameo in Shazam Fury of the Gods. Including the fact that scoopers are saying that Jason Momoa will be done with Aquaman after Aquaman 2. And by the end of the Flash movie, the Flash ends up in a different world other than James Gunn's DCU. And Ray Fisher is not exactly seeing eye to eye with James Gunn. But most DC fans agree that in order to get a clean new DC universe, they really have to let go of the previous one. Maybe that one will come back as an Elseworlds story somewhere, somehow? We'll have to wait and see. But regardless of how DC moves forward, there definitely needs to be a new Justice League movie. 
We can't have the Marvel Cinematic Universe without an Avengers. Same is true for the DC Universe. And it seems like people are beginning to piece together a grand plan for the DCU's first slate called Chapter 1, Gods and Monsters. James Gunn had made it pretty clear that he did not release the entire slate, only half of the slate he has already shown. And it's being said that the other half of this slate would actually give away his plans for this universe. James Gunn may have already revealed a bit of that plan a while back. Actor Paul Scheer, who may have been at the announcement for DCU's Chapter 1, posted this after James Gunn's big DC official announcement, something tells me maybe it's a good time to revisit this. And he shares a picture of the comic book cover, DC The New Frontier by Darwin Cook. And James Gunn happened to share this post on his Instagram. Now this is a different type of Justice League tale, and with an ultimate villain that is definitely different than Zack Snyder's Justice League which had Steppenwolf leading up to an eventual Darkseid villain. The New Frontier is an Elseworld story about the superheroes of Earth banding together to fight the center, an ancient horror. Now within the New Frontier story, Martian Manhunter and Batman were investigating a string of violent crimes that eventually leads to the center's involvement. And what's interesting is that James Gunn Peter Safran had actually revealed that they're making a Green Lantern TV series. Safran described the show as a terrestrial based investigation story inspired by the likes of True Detective. But within this investigation they will find this ancient horror on Earth which could be the same ancient horror in DC's The New Frontier, The Center. The New Frontier also has the character Rick Flagg Sr., which is being introduced in the new Creature Commando series that James Gunn announced. One of the many stories in the comics, the Creature Commandos, was actually tasked to investigate a dinosaur island, which is the same dinosaur island that's in The New Frontier, The Center itself. And within the New Frontier story, they do tackle the hero's struggle with the U.S. government. Which makes a lot of sense if Superman is going to be all about truth, justice, and the American way. Which could continue his story about the struggle between his Kryptonian heritage and his human upbringing. And also where his loyalties lie. Well now, high profile scoopers such as Geeks Worldwide or In Snyder and among others have definitely heard that the Justice League movie is going to definitely be an adaptation of Justice League New Frontier. And not only that, but they are also hearing that Andy Muschietti, the director for the Flash movie, will be directing the new Justice League movie. So this is all speculation as of now, but seeing that this could be a new DC Universe with a new Justice League, they're gonna have to have a reason why to team up together to take on a big foal. And adapting the new frontier could be the best way to bring the Justice League together. But frankly, all of this sounds fantastic. It's all going to come down to whether or not Superman Legacy, the first official movie in the DC Universe, will have to truly be a hit.